Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It's on a, a hard side. It's a particle on a conical spiral. Uh, guys, liking, sharing, subscribing is love. So keep liking, keep sharing and keep subscribing. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And uh, name of this problem is particle on a conical spiral. And uh, guys, a new batch uh, is the starting. It's called as uh, Spark Batch uh, for JE 2023 and uh, it is taken by one of the uh, prominent faculty members of uh, South India, Mr. Alok, uh, myself, Mr. Ashish and uh, Mr. KK Giri. So together uh, this team has mentored more than 150 plus JE advanced ranks in uh, top 100 uh, Oleander ranks including uh, uh, multiple times single digit and uh, double digit ranks. And I forgot to mention there is uh, three times all India rank once belongs to Mr. Arlo Okshar. So here is the problem statement. A particle P is moving down the spiral which is wrapped around a around the surface of a right circular cone of base radius B and altitude H. The angle beta between the tangent to the curve at any point and the horizontal tangent to the cone at this point is constant. Also, also the motion of the particle is controlled so that t theta by dt is constant. Angle theta is shown in the figure. Determine the expression for the radial acceleration of particle at any theta. So here is uh, the <coughs> diagram. You can see this particle is moving inside this cone in this uh, spiral, but its motion is restricted in such a way that this angle, its rate of change is uh, given as constant. That means uh, its omega of this circle, circular motion as seen from the top uh, is uh, d theta by d t, which is a constant. So we'll take omega as constant for this. Let's try to solve this uh, problem here. Uh, here I have written since d theta by dt is, uh, dt is constant, therefore we can write the speed of particle as seen from the top of the cone as that is uh, one component which is along uh, as seen from the top it will be in this direction and value is going to be r omega. Now one thing which we have to notice and uh, you must be having idea of the three dimensional visualization I can say. So here if you see due to this uh, d theta by dt omega part its uh, velocity component is here but uh, the particle is moving along uh, this spiral so that is not the total velocity of this particle i hope you are able to feel it uh, that is not the total speed so if total speed is v total then one component of this uh, velocity will be along the spiral uh, along the cone surface and another one will be along that horizontal tangent so we know this component hor horizontal tangent uh, component that is r omega so this uh, value we can uh, from here we can write uh, v total as uh, uh, or v total cos beta is uh, nothing but r omega that's what i have written here v theta is r omega and uh, v total cos beta is uh, r omega so from here now i will uh, try to ex uh, extend this now i'm going to see this uh, geometry from this side if you see here i'm going to see this geometry in this manner so this is the diagram here <coughs> now here the another component of v total which is along the cone surface will be pointing in this direction and that is v total sine beta and one component of this is along z direction which is uh, reducing the height h you can see from here its component in this direction is reducing the height h so i am calling it as vz and there is another component which is reducing the this uh, vr which is reducing this radial component of velocity which is redu uh, reducing the radius r here so v total sine beta i can write as uh, r omega tan beta i uh, by using the previous equation so now this uh, vr is going to be uh, r omega tan beta its sine alpha component i have written here and this vz is going to be r omega tan beta its cos alpha component all right now you can see here this uh, vr is pointing towards the axis and r is decreasing so i can write this vr as minus dr by dt and when i simplify this it's a very simple uh, integration we are going to get so bring uh, r this side and take dt other side and uh, initially this r was b and uh, finally at any time uh, t this value becomes r so i am getting this uh, r as 
b times e to the power minus tan beta sin alpha into t omega t i can write in terms of theta also because finally we have to express our answer in terms of theta so this is going to be r is equal to b times e to the power uh, theta minus theta tan beta sin alpha this is going to be the r as a function of theta all right after this and this is if you see it is like uh, r is equal to r not uh, e to the power theta so that is uh, satisfying the exp uh, equation of uh, spiral after this here if you see this part carefully the radial acceleration uh, will come due to two parts one is uh, due to the rotation due to the circle uh, circular motion part as seen from the top of the cone so because of that r omega square will come but this particle is approaching towards the axis also and due to this uh, vr also since vr is not constant in uniform circular motion normally you will see this uh, vr is zero that's why we don't discuss uh, this component but in general for uh, general motion uh, you will see this r distance is decreasing and vr is also as a function of time therefore due to this vr also one component will come in the uh, towards the axis you can say so we can see here r is decreasing yeah, these are the expressions here vr is r omega tan beta sin alpha this is constant this is constant and this is constant so basically if you see here this vr is uh, decreasing with time so definitely if vr is pointing this side and it is decreasing there must be acceleration of uh, minus dvr by dt away from the axis uh, that is what i have seen uh, shown here and uh, another one is due to this circular motion towards the center r omega square part will come so overall i can say overall i can say this radial acceleration should be r omega square minus uh, magnitude wise i am writing tvr by dt in this case and that will be towards the axis now these are the previous uh, results we have derived here i am not explaining these terms you can go back and you can see so r value is uh, known to us which is b into e to the power minus theta tan beta sin alpha vr we have evaluated earlier so vr is r omega tan beta sin alpha and similarly this d, uh, vr which was minus dr by dt we have written here so now if i differentiate this if I differentiate this uh, dVr by dt, I am uh, going to get omega tan beta sin alpha times dr by dt and this dr by dt value I can substitute here. So I am going to get this value as minus r omega square tan square beta sin square alpha. After this I can write uh, overall value of this. AR is nothing but uh, r omega square uh, this term is as it is minus dvr by dt so here i can uh, substitute uh, dvr by dt value so r omega square i can take common and this will become 1 minus tan square beta sin square uh, alpha towards the axis then i can substitute the value of r which i have uh, calculated here so finally this uh, radial acceleration expression is coming as b omega square e to the power minus theta tan beta sin alpha 1 minus tan square beta sin square alpha where uh, omega is d theta by dt and alpha is uh, tan inverse of b by h so this is going to be the final answer for this problem guys i hope uh, you have understood this problem and uh, the logic behind it the main part was resolving the velocity vectors uh, because in 3d the visualization is uh, slightly difficult but i hope uh, first uh, crucial part of this problem is uh, this step so if you are able to imagine this uh, that this velocity component is given to us in the problem and another velocity component is uh, along the surface of this uh, cone and then resolving uh, all the velocities here in 3D that is the second uh, crucial part in this problem. So I hope uh, I could explain and I could do the justice to this problem and uh, finally the third crucial step is uh, the radial acceleration uh, part here due to both uh, v radial and uh, omega this radial acceleration is coming so i hope you have learned something uh, new in this problem if this concept is clear and you have enjoyed the video please leave a like share this video with others and i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it